Hello, I'm Carolyn Clifford, and here are your 7 Action News headlines. Questions keep pouring in after the disastrous flooding in Metro Detroit last weekend. On Friday, the Great Lakes Water Authority finally outlined the problems with two critical pump stations on the east side, Connor Creek and Freud, among the breakdowns. They acknowledge at the two facilities, four of 12 pumps not working internal power outages and workers coming in could not get through locked gates. We are told there will be an internal investigation. An outside engineering firm will also be hired to look at system failures. More than 100 people angry over the flooding in Dearborn raised their voices outside City Hall Friday. They're demanding answers. This is not the first time many have dealt with a massive flood. The city was hit by a similar disaster back in 2014. Residents say they want to know why this keeps happening and what will be done about it. The mayor refused to come out and comment. Beaumont Health is launching a new study to explore immunity to COVID-19. The two-year project is designed to better understand how a person develops COVID-19 antibodies from a vaccine and how long they last. Beaumont is looking for 1,000 people ages 18 and up to join the study. Participants are required to be within 30 days of receiving their first dose. Well, the holiday travel rush well underway at this point. 56,000 Michiganders are expected to fly out of town for the 4th of July. And AAA predicting more than 1.4 million Michiganders will be hitting the road over the weekend. Now, if that's you, be prepared to pay up big time at the pump. The average price of a gallon of gas in Michigan is $3.20 in Metro Detroit. It's even higher there in other places. Prices are running about a dollar per gallon higher than this time last year. All right, let's get a check on your weather now. Here's 7 First Alert meteorologist Mike Taylor. He has your 7 First Alert forecast. Mike? Hey, thanks, Carolyn. We're going to stay pretty dry into the overnight and cool as well. High pressure stays in control. 57 degrees for tonight's low in Detroit, 55 in Pontiac, 52 in Howell, and the cool spot, Ann Arbor, at 51.